Hi, Robert Imbrielli here with a quick uh, tutorial for Wirecast. I want to teach you how to do a two shot um, that looks very professional. It looks actually like uh, it's done on television. It's actually not that difficult to do in Wirecast and uh, it looks like this when it's actually done. So here I am interviewing somebody using um, uh, Rendezvous on, in Wirecast. You can see it's really nice. I got the two shot there. I've got a nice frame around it. I've got names under us and I've got a motion background all running at the same time which is really a lot of fun. And I'm going to show you how to do this shot here in this tutorial. Now you can see you can switch back and forth between the guest and the two shot it works really really well so I'm going to teach you how to do that and that's what we're going to look at doing today so we get started first of all um, what I'm looking at here is just a live shot so the live shot you obviously can't edit I know people have run into this before it's I can't edit anything here you know this is a little bit like trying to lock the horses into the barn after they've already left right uh, it's too late this is the output that's already gone so what you want to do is you want to click up here and you want to have your preview window show up so your preview window is where you can do your editing and then over here you have these little arrows you want to open up the you want to expand your menu so you can see what's going on what I'm going to do is I'm create a new shot so I'm going to create a click on the plus button here and I'm just going to go down to shots and new shot <laughs> no nothing specific here just a new shot that's all I'm going to do so you can see I've got a blank shot nothing going on at all and what you want to do is you want to go to this first tab up here shot layers and what you want to do is you want to add a layer so the first layer I'm going to add I'll add me back so video capture Logitech Brio that's what I'm on so I just add that and there I am and you can see I'm not color corrected compared to the way it's supposed to look because I have brought the shot in again very easy to fix you got these little um, sliders here you go here to color I'm just gonna drop the brightness a little bit it looks a little bright to me maybe drop the gamma down a little bit raise the contrast up and there we go. It almost matches um, the original shot. So that looks really good. Okay, so we've got these layers here. And what's really neat about Wirecast is that you can stack things uh, layer upon layer upon layer into a single shot. And what it'll look like when it's all done, it'll look like this. Now, all these things are in a single shot. And you can see you can edit all these pieces. And I've got a motion backdrop. So I'm going to show you how I do that. New shot here. I'm going to add a new layer. Okay, a little plus button. And what I want to do is I want to add a media file. So what are we going to add? We're just going to add, let's go into my local disk here. I have under demo. This is a motion backdrop. I got this from Digital Juice. I have a subscription with them. So I really like this one because it's really soft and, and uh, very slow moving. So I'm going to add that. Now, it doesn't move. You might say, wait, wait a minute, it's a video. Why isn't it working? Well, because I'm in the preview pane. So if I brought it over here to live, you'd see it would move. And you could see it's a really nice, slow-moving background. I don't want anything too fast because I really don't want it to be distracting. But what I do want is I do want something that um, is pleasing to the eye. So that does that for me. Okay, so I want to take this up here, Brilliant Curve Move. It's in the front. I really want to bring it to the back. So we've got these little arrowheads. Just click the down arrow, and it brings it to the back. Okay, so now we've got a motion background running behind the video that you're seeing here. Um, but where do you get the frames? I want to do the frames. Okay, let's go click plus. And we have something here called overlays. Overlays are really a lot of fun. And uh, the one you want to use is called title dot dot dot. And I guess the dot 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 sort of lets you know that there's more behind this. So click on title, click add. And it's going to open up a whole selection of titles. These have been in Wirecast for a long time. Um, but there are a lot of different uh, things you can do with it. I just use something very simple. I, I really like this Ocean 2 box because my background that I'm using is blue. So that works really well. So I'm going to add that. Just click OK. Click on it first. You can select it, obviously. And then click OK. And it brings it in. Now you can see that it's here. But boy, it's not sized right at all, right? Everything's kind of a little bit messed up. It's not giving me what I want it to give. This is easy um, to work with. Ocean 2 box right here. Click on that. Now I'm, I'm working on this layer. This is important. Sometimes you go and you say, I want to move these things. And if you don't have the correct layer selected, these selection tools are going to move things you don't want to move. So make sure you select the layer you want to work on first. In this case, Ocean 2 box. And what I'm looking for is these openings here to me are too small. So what I want to do is I want to bring this whole thing up. I'm going to raise it up a little bit and I'm going to make it longer. And I'm going to bring it back down and see, oh, that's much better. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense, right? 
for me, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to be a little bit picky here. I am, I am a little bit of a nerd when it comes to this stuff. I really like to have it the way I like it. Leave it the way I want it. That looks really good. Okay. So now what I want to do, well, I'll leave it here. I'm going to walk you through this step by step. So I'm going to move it over until it centers. There we go. Hit the yellow bar there in the center. I love those, uh, those guides that just show up when they're supposed to. So that's really good. But now my video obviously is not where I need it to be. So I'm going to click on the Logitech Brio, which is my camera. And I'm going to resize it. Now, it's important to note that if you just grab the handles that are here and you try to resize it without uh, doing anything, it resizes the whole image. And that's not really what I want, right? That's going to make it too small. So instead, what you do is you hold down the control key. And you see the circle that's here? Watch what happens when I hold the control key down. Circle becomes a square. That's an old game show, isn't it? You grab that square and now you're cropping the image rather than resizing it. So what I do is I crop it, keeping the control key hand, hand hold down, and I'm just gonna crop it so I'm kind of in the center of it. Then I'm gonna grab the whole thing and move it over. All right, now I'm centered in there, it looks really good. Use the control key again. You can get real picky with this. I, I certainly spend time with it, probably more than I uh, need to, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'll just make it fit within the window that I've got here so it looks really, really good. All right, so that's looking good right there. If I brought it live, that's what it would look like live. You can see it now fits in the window really nicely. But I got these titles all over the place. What are we gonna do with all these titles? Well, this one I look at and I probably don't need it. So yeah, that one I need. That one I don't need. So I'm gonna hit the little eyeball here, the little eyeball icon, turn it off. Don't need to see it. Um, how about this one here? Oh, that one I need. I need that one here. That's my guest names title. So I'm going to put that there. How about this one here? That's up here. I don't need that one. I just need this one and this one. Okay, good. So I'm going to look at this. I'm going to say um, box three. Okay, so that doesn't really tell me an ocean two box text three doesn't say anything to me. So I'm going to go click on that and I'm going to go up here to the properties menu. And I'm going to click and I'm going to change the name here. I'm just going to call it host name because I'm the host and I want host name to be, you know, the, I want to know that when I edit that one, that's going to be the host name. This one here, Ocean 2 text box 1, doesn't tell me anything. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to go to type in guest name because that's really what I want that to be. All right. So now host name, I can go and click on this. I could say, okay, who's the host name? Go back to properties and I could put in my name here. And I've typed my name a lot of times over the years, so I must do pretty good at it. Okay, and I'm going to center it right about there. So I'm going to bring this live again so you'll see where we are. It brings you a current kind of thing there. Okay, good. So now I'm going to go back to the this layers and guest name. I'm going to put in the guest name, and um, here's where you put it in here. I'm just going to put not Robert. <laughs> well, it's not really true because you'll see in a minute that I, I actually um, am on both computers here. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So you can center it. You can put it wherever you want to. It's really nice. You see that yellow bar is now showing me that it's the two titles are centered. I love that. It just makes it so easy to get things to look really great. So now click it live again. I can just see, you know, where things are going. Now you might say, all right, well, this is kind of nice. We have another shot going on here. This is a rendezvous shot. And you're going to notice something really interesting here. This is a Logitech Brio camera. And you can see for $179, I think this thing is selling for on Amazon. Nice image, right? Pretty clear. This is the stock camera that comes with the HP laptop that's sitting on my desk as well. It's horrible. It's, it's, it's so blurry. I can't believe that they put, um, you know, that kind of quality camera in there. Anyway, that's where it is. So here we are going to go back into the shot we're working on and I'm going back to the layers and I'm going to add that, um, rendezvous shot again, plus, and you say, what do you want to do? You want to add network, right? You want to do the rendezvous sessions. This one's a live one, Robert's, Robert's laptop right here. I'm going to add that. Now you can see I'm kind of overtaking the screen. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Hold down the control key. Make sure the subject is centered. Yeah, do a little better job of centering the subject here. And then bring down a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom. And then I can kind of fit it into the little box that's uh, here for that. Now I'm going to bring it down because it's in the front of everything. Obviously, it's blocking, so that's not going to work, right? It's blocking everything. So you just move the layer down a little bit. Just move the layer all the way down. You know, where the Logitech Brio is is really nice. 
So now you can see now it's it's fitting in here really, really nicely. So that's really how you do it. And you can see the shots bleeding a little bit here. So if I wanted to be a little picky, and I often am, I'll just you know bring it over so it doesn't bleed. Because this um, border here, you can actually see through it. It's a little bit translucent, so you can see through it. But the problem I'm seeing here is that I don't really see my motion background, huh? Not very good. Okay, so let's go Ocean 2 box right here. And that gives me the opportunity to select this, this overlay. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hold down the control key and I'm going to trim the box. Trim it right up there. Bring it all the way back down. Oh, that's about right. Actually, I'm going to take the top down first. Bring the top down a little bit and then bring it back up. And there we are. Uh, for the side to side, it's not looking great. So I'm going to do the same thing side to side. So go all the way to the side because I've made it larger now. Hold down that control key. Bring it in a little bit. And you, know, you have to play with this a little bit. And that's the fun thing about Wirecast is if you get it wrong, you can always go back. <laughs> Nothing that you do is permanent. You can't make a permanent mistake here. All right. So I'm going to bring this one just a little bit more. And then we'll, you know, see where there's center. So that doesn't look centered to me. So I'll just hold down the control key. See what I mean? You can just back off on a little bit. There you go. So I'm doing it by eye. I'm seeing the same amount of distance here as, as is here. And now I can see that this um, Brio needs to be adjusted a little bit. Simple. Click on the Brio layer. Hold down the control key. You're getting used to this now, right? And doing it enough. And then just tighten it up really nice. And uh, in this case, I need to open it a little bit. There we go. And now you can see, I can see the motion background behind showing around this. I know this is, uh, this one's off a little bit. The laptop one, you, know, you can see it needs to be adjusted so we can just adjust it. And in you know, just a few minutes when I have my guest on uh, before we go live, I'm actually doing this. I'm doing this while they're live with me and, and it works really great. They, they don't mind at all. And once it's in there, then I just have a single shot to click from. So I can go from me I can talk and do the introduction if I want to. I can go to my guest. Let's say my guest is on their laptop. I can go to them and I can pop over and do the two shot, which is really nice because now both of us are on there, both speaking at the same time. So that's how I do it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And thank you so much for watching.